Sky, what about the summer of love back, back in the 60s? Mm. Tell me, give me... But back then, yeah, yeah. it was really mellow, you know, like uh, 64, 65, 66, 67. 67, yeah. It was all really mellow. Uh, you know, we were at peace with everybody. Mm-hmm. But then the police came in. <clears throat> I don't know why they came in, but... And they needed something to do, but they started picking on people with long hair, and then then they started picking on people that smoked, you know. And, uh, I think it's with every um, every time that we go through life, I think, you know, there's certain people that don't want you to enjoy life, you know. Mm. That You're right. Without realizing that the same thing they're arresting you for is something that they did, you know, 20 years earlier, you know. Mm-hmm. Um It's not right, because we all deserve to come down here and live and love and express love and, you know, procreate and have children. And and I was thinking today, what a horrible thing to send somebody to war. Yeah. You know, as a mother and father, it's the worst thing that you could ask of a, a mother and father to, to make their son go to war, you know. Like, who wants to go to war anyway? Who started this war, you know? Yeah. And you go back and find out the whole war started, all these wars started over greed. Yeah, I think the, ma- the market. Or somebody wanted somebody's land. Mm-hmm. You I know, think... they need to negotiate and buy it, and yeah. not, not war with people. Mm-hmm. The thing with North Korea, I don't know what to think about that. You know, they're in a dangerous situation. If, yeah. if you blow them up, you know, like they did Japan, the whole thing will blow up. You mm. know, if they got so much nuclear, to, yeah, I so know. much nuclear power. Mm. I think the, the, the way I would get to North Korea is with food. You know, find out what wheat and grain that they don't have and provide it for them. You know, I, I think there has to be a better way than war. It, it didn't solve anything. It never will solve anything. Yeah. Because after war, then you have 50 years of hate. Yes. You know, whichever side won or lost, they still hate. Mm-hmm. Sky. So where's our founding yeah. fathers? You know, they don't like this at all. You know, we don't know yeah. war, you know. I think, you know, the world should just throw down whatever it wants to pick up and, and say there is no more war, you know? I think... Like, the, what do you benefit out of that, yeah, you know? Yeah, the yeah. Second World War cost everybody their pianos, you know? They, they destroyed music with that war, you know? Mm-hmm. Third World War, they will never make, you know? The world has got too much uh, atomic energy in certain places, they'll blow it up. And if they blow up one place, it'll start a domino effect, you know? Like, exactly. So we're like really walking on eggshells. We've got to just give North Korea what they need, you know, without war, you know. Like, I'm not saying it would have anything happen, but somebody had to, you know, be over there and negotiate with them. The yeah. two women, they should let them go, you know. You know but see, it, it's really not about the country. And it gets down about the leaders of the country. Yeah. And you find out the country don't really want that, you know, a, whatever country it is. Yeah. It's about America, the market. We never wanted to go yeah. to war anywhere, you know. Mm-hmm. They've waited. Vietnam War, I've, I've avoided that war, you know, like a plague. I'm not, I don't bomb people. I, I would never bomb anybody. That's the most cowardly way to, you know, to do somebody, to bomb somebody. Yeah. They don't know what's coming and blow up. So all wars are no good. They're no good at all, you know. Like, I thought, you know, I did my thousand years of peace tour, but it kept not, you know, coming together, but I did make the record for it. It's called... Hey world, you know, I've been turning through the pages of the Bible, finding out where you got it wrong. Mm-hmm. We need to get it back to the Bible, and it's thou shalt not kill. No, well, anyway, that's what the 60s was about. We were about love and caring, and we didn't have a care. You, you know, we loved each other. If somebody went with our girlfriend, we were okay yeah. with that. We'd go with their girlfriend, you know, but nowadays... People have a different mindset, but we should all remember that we're really brothers and sisters. You know, how can we not intermingle with each other? I don't know. You're right. And how much love we give to each other is by the measure of love we give out. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sky, what about uh, I Gonna Be Your Dog, a Stooges cover of yours? Tell me, give me a picture, tell me some things. Oh, okay. Well, I've always wanted to be a dog's dog. You know, in other words, I never considered dogs are higher than man, and man wasn't higher than dogs. Yeah. They're both really sort of equal, because they both carry the same spirit, you know? So, mm-hmm. like, I Want to Be Your Dog was 
you know, Iggy Pop song. I might have inspired it once, I don't know, but I like doing it now, and I don't know, I want to be your dog, I don't know, like maybe if a dog said, I want to be your dog, I said it to my dog, he'd understand, you know, that, that we're both equal, you know, mm -hmm. like dogs in Greece, they're like an extension of the people, you know, to me, they're your brothers and sisters, you know, in mm -hmm. another form. Yeah. In uh, Egypt time, it was Anubius. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the ancient god, yeah. That walked on his hind feet. Anubis. That was their god, you know. That was actually their god. It was their, you know, it was a wolf and dog. So I don't know, you know. I thought thirty years ago or so, even thirty-five years ago, people had realized that 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 dogs are really a high order, and and how you treat the dog is how you might be. Ex how might You'd be uh, treated in heaven. I don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want any karma for being mean to a dog. I know that. You know. Like, I don't know. Like, why don't we just think of them as our brothers and sisters, an extended family? And, 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 you know, like, I think that if you treat dogs bad, then you do have war. Mm. If you treat dogs good, then you have blessings, all kinds of blessings, you know. Mm hmm um, I love Greece, you know, because they love dogs a lot. They, they love dogs, you know. And uh, that's one of the reasons God's going to keep them safe, because there's <laughs> a great love for, for the dogs there. You know. I saw it in all the people that own dogs. Then I saw homeless dogs, but there's homeless dogs everywhere, you know. Like, mm -hmm. it's too bad that man just doesn't, you know, come along and feed them and help them out. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But yeah, my love for dogs is really great. Mm -hmm. uh, dogs and wolves. You know, you know, probably consider my father, or my grandfather. You know, wouldn't be far off. You know. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, if that was true with me, then it would be true for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Sky, one last question. Can you tell me some of your memories, some details about a really great song, one of my favorites? can seem to make you mine. Oh. Yeah. That song took a year to write. I, I had the song, but I didn't have the song. It was like, uh, uh, Painted Doll took a long time to write, too, years. I don't know, it can't seem to make you mine, you know, I sing it now, and then I see, I wonder, why am I still singing it, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I, and I reversed it, and I realized that, God is saying that to you, you know, I can't seem to make you mine, you know, mm -hmm. not Jesus Christ or Allah or Buddha, you know, or Krishna, but Yehovah himself, mm -hmm. you know, he would like to make everybody his, you know, he would like to bring everybody back to the light, everything else was, was like a, a bridge, you know, to cross over, so yeah. when I sing it now, I have no problem singing it, because I... I think about Yehovah singing to all his children on earth. I can't seem to make you mine. <laughs> no. Okay, Sky. Thank you very much for your time for this interview. Okay? Oh, well, listen, any time, Demetrius. And listen, I love all of you in the lava. Mm. I, you know, and my heart's always with you. You're very fortunate people to live there. And I pray about you. And my new album's coming out, Atlantic Rising. Mm -hmm. It's pure, all made in Greece, a lot of, and it's all all great people and uh, I think you know there are people from the gods you know maybe some of the Greek gods and the people and maybe the knights of the round table and maybe Jesus Christ disciples they're just such great people over there mm -hmm. so I have to think that they've got great DNA in them <laughs> anyway listen Demetrius I love you I love all of you we love you and too Sky. peace be with you I, I'll be coming through there uh, with the seed soon okay